Oh, ah, good evening, good people. <laughs> How is everyone? Oh, yeah! Woo! Is everyone slightly lit? Yes! Before anything else, well, hold on, just give me a second. Um, good enough for government work. Before, does everyone have a drink? I am so glad Shit, every time I walk into the Wigger Room because every experience is so special, but tonight, tonight I experienced something truly unique. I, I want to raise a glass to every one of the performers this evening because it was just so special and intimate and just lovely. Chin Chin. Also to the fucking Wigger Room. Yeah. <laughs> chin Chin. Woo! So, um, everything was kind of super wholesome this evening. Um, uh, I hope you're ready for shit to get a little bit filthy because uh, <laughs> uh, you, you have no choice. Um, I, I've been struggling to uh, figure out how it is exactly that these next two songs relate to summer, but they do somehow tangentially. Uh, I was born on August 22nd. I share a birthday with the French composer uh, Claude Debussy. I am a Leo Virgo cos. Uh, and uh, on my birthday for the last several years, uh, if, if, if I have an event, we have three cakes. One vegan, one omnivore, and, and one miscellaneous. Why? might you ask. Now, has anyone here seen the beloved cultural artifact of the year 2006, Cake Farts? Yes! yes. By a show of hands, who's seen Cake Farts? Oh, perfect. Okay, most of you have it. Fantastic. This is the best part. So, Cake Farts! Woo! Strap in. Don't worry. There will be a watching party afterwards. If you like, consent is important. Cake Farts starts with a, uh, an image of a, a lovely homemade chocolate cake, beautifully frosted, sitting on a counter. And then it pans to this woman wearing a lavender camisole, but nude from the waist down. And she says, you know what I like most? Cake Farts. Let's get this done. And, and, and she walks up to the counter and she says, oh, you know, I'm... Uh, Doing a real nice and comfortable place. And she takes down her beautiful flowing brunette hair. She climbs onto the counter, squats onto this lovely chocolate cake, and for one minute and 53 seconds, farts onto it. One minute and 53 seconds is a long time. You will find out if you want after the show. Can I? Can I? <laughs> that costs extra. <laughs> now, uh, a, a friend of a friend, a fan, very, very gifted musical theater composer and uh, a singer named Rachel Bloom asked, I think, the question that everyone else in this room is asking right now, which is, who is she? You know, you know, it, 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 it begs a lot of questions, like, why, for instance. And uh, I, I thought, you know, well, Rachel, oh. this uh, deserves a song. And, uh, I I arranged this song for Cello and Voice, and it's called The Story of Cake Farts. When I was a little girl, they sat us down in school and said, kids, what do you want to be? Billy said, a doctor. Miranda said, a judge. And then they came to me. They said, don't be shy, this is Canada. The land where dreams turn real. It doesn't matter what job you want, just as long as it's true to what you feel. So I said, I want to spread my ass cheeks and fart on a cake. And I want to do it on 
Spread my ass cheeks and fart on a cake. And I wanna do it on film. <laughs> well, they sent me to a special school, so I forgot my dream. Until my 11th birthday party. My mother cut the cake because they wouldn't give me knives. And then I saw the camera held by my grandpa, Artie. My mother said, oh God, don't you dare fart on that cake. <laughs> Relax, Mom, I'm just blowing out the candles. Jeez, have some faith. And then I spread my ass cheeks and parted on that cake. And my grandpa got it on film. And then he threw up on himself. I spelled out dreams with my poop as I farted on that cake. But then my parents burned that film. Well, I went to McGill. Uh, I landed a pretty good job And I kept far away from all things Foster Then I met a guy in a bar A director, down on his luck And he said I want to make a hit internet video But all good ideas have been exhausted So I said what if I spread my ass cheeks and pour it on a cake? And he said, Yeah, sure, yeah, okay, yeah, that'll do it. So, we went to Mimi Cafe Tea and we bought a chocolate cake and well, we made a video. And it's called Cake Farts. And it features me farting on a cake with a camera close up on my asshole. And it became an internet sensation. Why? Because cake farts, it's not about cakes or farts. It's about dreams. Because, you know, we all have that cake we want to fart into, and we all have that person telling us not to fart into that cake. And who knows, maybe your dream isn't farting on a cake. Maybe your dream is uh, sneezing on a salad, or uh, wiping your period blood on a bagel. Uh, I don't know, maybe your dream has nothing to do with the combination of foods and bodily functions. I don't know, dreams are fucking weird like that. But you know, if uh, there's one thing that I want you to remember from my story, it's... We can all spread our ass cheeks and fart on our cakes. Be they literal cakes or figurative cakes. Because this is Canada, the land where dreams turn real. It doesn't matter what job you want just as long as you fart on your cake. So now you know the purpose of the third cake. Shinshin, are you ready to get to know a little bit more about me? Well then take a fucking drink. I, I actually, I love this storytelling format too. Um, I'm gonna take another one. Okay. So the year is 2015. I am 25 years old and my ex-boyfriend, my now ex-boyfriend and I, um, how do I describe it? You know those sort of like disguise glasses with the, the nose and the mustache? Um, he looks like that except like live. You know, like Jean-Paul Belmondo. Um, with like olive skin. Um, we, we took a, a like a, a pinky nail sized uh, mm, mm, uh, amount of a controlled substance that we shall call my friend Molly. And, and we went on a walk through Washington Heights. And uh, this was the first time that I had ever... Uh, uh, ha ha this was the first time that I had ever had sex with only one person in public. Um, 
Um, also, I, I, I remember the, the most vivid memory was eating his ass on an overpass that we then jumped over. We somehow survived be, based on, like, because of the bramble. We fell through these vines and then, you know, got makey outy for like, I don't know, what it might have been 25 minutes, but probably was more like six hours. And then we walked back to my apartment covered in blood because of the vines. And, and he did something that no one had ever done to me before. Have you ever been fucked or being fucked by someone and they do something that make you, like, that makes, that make you make the face like you're seeing a horrifying car accident and then immediately switch over to, like, looking like you're looking at a Thanksgiving feast after a week. <laughs> so sort of like this, like, this song the next day. <laughs> this song is an original song uh, about the first time my ex-boyfriend spit in my mouth. Oh. Consensually! Yes. Consensually! Yes. Oh boy. When first we met I thought you were the answer. When first we met, I thought you were the one. When first we met, I thought I'll take a chance. Maybe I'll understand. But then, in the still of the night, in the heat of my room, losing my sight. The rats begin to chew the shits. The rats begin to chew the shits. The rats begin to chew the shits. I 